What is up guys, welcome back. Um, I'm just gonna make a quick video about the paint protection film. I asked people on Instagram, uh, I got the M2 back after the paint protection film install and just asked people if they wanted to kind of hear about it, what the options were, how much it costs, things like that. So we're gonna make a quick video on that. I am also doing some uh, maintenance on the M3. Got a little oil change going at the moment. Also need to bleed the brakes. Uh, we have a track day coming up. So basically today is Saturday. The coming upcoming Friday, we are gonna have a track day. Uh, so just wanna make sure the car's, you know, just ready to roll, do a nut and bolt check, bleed the brakes, change the oil. You know, just make sure she's happy, everything's good to go. And uh, yeah, I guess let's quickly talk about the uh, M2 over there. All right, the M2 is back from PPF install. What's PPF? Paint protection film, right? So I'm gonna give you from the perspective of somebody who it's their first time having paint protection film installed, first car I've ever had it on. I had my uh, 2016 STI, as a lot of you guys remember. Thought about it on that car. Uh, I was gonna do it and just, I don't know, maybe the price scared me. I just kind of chickened out on a uh, $35,000 car, just didn't want to spend, you know, one, two grand to get this kind of stuff done. So I got it done on this car. It's done with SunTech uh, Ultra is what the what the film is. It's basically comparable to Expel, Expel whatever their top one is. Um, they're all very similar now. They all have self-healing, uh, <laughs> which is not as not as extreme as people think it is. Um, this one has like kind of a hydrophobic coating with it. So like I didn't get it, I didn't get it, uh, what do you call it, ceramic coated, but this film has like, at least for the initial um, few months or years, however long you can maintain it, has some hydrophobicness to it, which is cool. So I got the basically entire front end. So what does that mean? It basically means from the fender forward is covered plus the mirror caps. So the mirror caps, they just covered this painted portion, all this like, uh, whatever, I don't know, this is painted maybe too, but it's just this black plastic portion, it's not covered, so it's just the caps. So that means from the bumper, full, I mean, sorry, the, the hood, full front hood, full fenders, headlights, full front bumper. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with it, right? So something I think that is worth keeping in mind if you're getting your car paint protection film, there will be plastic film on top of your paint. It will always be at some level noticeable. This guy was pretty good, pretty good installer, had like five star reviews everywhere. He's actually one of the people that I talked to initially about doing the uh, STI as well. He's been in the business for quite a while. So the hood is fully wrapped, which means all of the edges basically around these edges. Uh, it's extended and wrapped around, around the top edge. Obviously the hood is very easy to do that. The emblem lives on the bumper. The hood is just like a giant panel. Same is true for the fenders. The fenders are fully wrapped except for edges like this that are very close to the other bumper. I didn't have him disassemble anything. So I didn't have him take the bumper off. I actually didn't have him take this off as well. So I don't know if I can, might be able to get you in here enough. There is, see a little seam. There's a seam at the edge of this. So basically this is a template that gets cut on a plotter and it includes this cutout. You could have your guy remove this. My guy wasn't, wasn't positive. He could remove it without breaking the clip. So I just kind of went with that. So on the, on the fenders, the only thing you can tell is if you look close, there's a cutout around that. The place where it gets a little bit eh for me is the front bumper. And I think some of my eh-ness could have been resolved had I initially looked at the template uh, for Expel. I think most of them use like Expel templates or they're very similar. So 
Uh, I'll put it up on the screen here and you guys can check it out. But basically there's a lot of relief cuts because this front bumper is pretty complex, right? You can get your bumper what, uh, basically covered with what they call bulking, which is like a giant piece of film. And then they cut it out and they kind of stretch it to fit. Most shops or a lot of the shops that aren't like super high end are gonna use a template and they put it on a plotter and it cuts out around the places that basically need to be cut out. I didn't realize how many relief cuts and such there were on this bumper. My guy admitted that this bumper was pretty difficult. There's just a lot of stuff going on. You know, the not only the grill cutouts, but like down here, these little like three divots and you know, this pretty sharp angular bumper. So something to keep in mind for sure is check out that uh, plot of the relief cuts and stuff and see if you're gonna be okay with kind of living with some of those seams. So from a distance, you can't tell at all. You know, if you get up close, you can definitely tell. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera, but you know, around the headlights, you can tell on the corners. Sometimes there's like a little bit of, you know, relief cut basically around this stuff. There's a seam, you know, on the side of the, these sort of things. So the edges, I guess it's not, these are not seams, they're edges, but something else worth noting is that the front bumper, the bottom of it, it's actually multiple pieces. So the top piece is like mostly one. This bottom thing here is a separate piece. And I've heard online that that's intentional. So like if this takes any sort of damage, you can replace this one piece versus having to do the entire front bumper. I don't know if that's true or that's kind of like folklore internet speak. <laughs> um, but some things that like I, I didn't really think about and wasn't aware of, you know, the, bumper you can actually see right here there's a seam right here right like this piece is its own piece so uh and also these these are holes right there's a cutout here there's also a edge that follows this there's an edge that follows this right so as long as the car is clean and those things don't start collecting a lot of dirt i think i'll be fine but i was a little bit like Oh my, when I first got it and you know, was up, got started getting like up close and personal to it, I was a little bit like, oh damn, I didn't realize there's gonna be a seam here. I didn't realize there's another seam, uh, right? Basically through here, another seam. And this is like stuff that, you know, could be covered or kind of hidden by a front lip. And I think I'm one of those people that's just very particular, very uh, perfectionist with things. In hindsight, I don't know what it would have cost to kind of bulk this front bumper. I don't know how likely they would be able to do that, but I might have paid for it. I'm not sure. Outside of that, super happy with it. There's a couple little spots that I'm gonna need my guy to go back over. Um, and they're very similar locations. They're all like basically right around this part of the headlight. Let me see if I can get this on camera. But you see right here, there's a little tiny finger, I think is what they're called, but it's very small. Uh, basically, it's like a little divot in the paint where the, or in the, uh, in the material where it got kind of bunched. There's another one on this side, basically in exactly the same spot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that on camera for you guys, but basically both of those places and then kind of down in this area, it looks like it might just need to be heated and kind of pushed back in there. But my guy was cool. He's gonna bring, he said, bring it back. The uh, install was basically lifetime warranty on the installation and a 10 year warranty from SunTech on the actual film itself. So I think it's important to consider the cost and consider how many edges and seams and things like he didn't take the grills out. So there is this, an edge along here. Uh, he didn't pull my emblem out. So there is an edge around here. All this stuff you can have your person do just depends on you know, cost you're willing to pay and how much you want somebody disassembling your brand new vehicle. Overall, he did a great job. He extended it where he wanted or where he could to, to wrap it and things. Um, I'm, I'm interested to kind of live with it and see how, see how much I love it. I went back and forth on cost, whether I thought it was worth it, but I want to try it. And worst case scenario is, you know, in a year or two, if I hate the edges enough, I can pull it off. So Cost is probably something you guys are interested in. Cost was, for me, 2,200 bucks for everything you see here. So mirror caps, entire hood, tire fenders, front bumper, headlights, 
that's with the lifetime installation warranty and obviously SunTech and I think Expel does the 10 year warranty thing now. Could go up, could go down, depending on the shop, depending on if you want them to bulk it or not. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the going rate. I know it varies kind of depending on what state you're in. That's generally what I was getting as estimates around here. And like I said, overall, I'm happy with it. There's just a few pieces. Once I got used to the idea that, oh yeah, you did a template, Chuck. You should have looked up the template ahead of time to know where the relief cuts and seams and stuff were gonna have to be. Once I got through that, I'm happier with it. And I'm, I am very happy that the front end is protected at whatever level of protection this stuff is gonna cost. Definitely worth considering though, you know, uh, what, what kind of car uh, do you have? <laughs> and is it worth the, you know, if you bought, if you bought a $20,000 car, 10% of the price of car, the car to protect the front end, maybe not worth it. How long are you gonna keep the car? Um, obviously you're not, it's not about saving it for the next guy for me. It's about, you know, just I, I'm anal about stuff and very perfection-y. And uh, I just, it just annoyed me seeing all the, the rock chips and stuff on the STI that got it. So I'm gonna try it out. You know, if it, uh, if I live with it and hate it, obviously I'll fill you guys in. But overall, uh, looks pretty good. The guy did a good job. Interested to see how it lasts in the sun and such. That's the PPF. Turned out overall good. Like I said, there's a couple imperfections, like the two things around the headlight. I think, let me see, these are just bugs. Um, yeah, maybe I'll be able to see this right here. I don't know if you can. There's two bubbles right here in it. If these don't go away in the sun, they can use a little needle to poke a hole and suck out the uh, excess glue, or not glue, uh, water or air, depending on what's in that. So yeah, overall looks good. Gonna get to the rest of the maintenance here on the M3. And then I'm gonna do a track day video, I think. I'm gonna show you, basically go through what it's like for me to get to the track. So besides the maintenance and stuff, you know, I gotta pick up my trailer, load the trailer up, load all my crap up, get it to the track, stuff like that. Give you some on-track footage. Got my new GoPro, so should be easy to uh, get some good footage. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, hit me in the comments with any questions you might have on the PPF or on garage stuff. I've seen some more questions from just like, you know, floor and um, somebody asked me a question about the like retractable power strip and lights and stuff in the garage. So. Yeah, hit me up, ask me on Instagram, ask me on on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you probably in less than a week because I have less than a week for a track day. So uh, see you then. Bye.